Welcome to Write Tag. I'm going to show you how to use the site as well as the browser extension, how to do research, save your research, and use that with Write Forge or Write Push. So with your browser extension installed, in any site, just type a hashtag and a space to see if it's worth using. Type two or more to compare them. Hit compare to open the comparison page. From this, you see your competition, the uniques, versus your wins, retweets, and hashtag exposure per hour. So in TweetDeck, in Facebook, Buffer, and many other sites, all sites, just type a hashtag and find if it's SEO tools or SEO help that I want and I see its tools. When you find you don't want hashtag grading in a site, just turn it off. And to modify your blocked pages, right click on your browser button and options to enable any that you have blocked. When you want to know when hashtags emerge for your topic, set trend alerts. Here I will do tutorials and create an alert. By default that's on, so I'll get emails when new hashtags appear with my root hashtag. Or you can turn this off and then just check the report on the site. You can do research on the site. I'll check tips by topic. Then bookmark hashtags that you believe you'll need again. Use the Interactive Explorer at the bottom of an analytics page. Click around to check analytics. Bookmark what you need. Save as a tag set. Then get RightForge. Take the tour to learn what the different tools do. Get the browser extension. And then, for example, when I share this tutorial to social profiles, I click on my Write Forge browser button, which will load page title, URL, let me auto enhance to extract an image, smart tag it for me, convert my URL to a tiny URL with my embedded CTA, and I also have access to my tag sets, which I can add with one click. So that's how you use Write Tag with Write Forge. And on Write Kit, you'll see the other tools that you can test. Writely for URL conversion to your choice of tiny URL with a baked in CTA, and Write Push for social media automation.